Guys, when it comes to Velcro, there are so many different uses. You use it every day in your life and, and so many applications. But there are a lot of things you can do with survival and even tactical applications to be able to use Velcro to really make an advantage of what you have and even some ideas to give you to where you can improvise many things. And that's one of the big things we like to do and haven't really done in a while is using common everyday items to improvise your gear and to make you even more efficient, organized, and in a tough situation, it might just get you through. And guys, down in the comments, if there's something that you have an idea of, please leave it down there. It's great to be able to see and for us to work together as a community to get us better prepared. But one thing I will say, guys, is having Velcro handy gives you a lot of options. Now, there's definitely a lot of different systems out there. I mean, this is really common. And these are straps. Of course, there are obviously some that has adhesive. You can stick it on surfaces, and then you can have the other stuck on another surface. We're not really going to look at that, even though that is very good, and I have used that a number of times. But the strapping, to me, is one of the most useful uh, for what we're going to talk about. And again, if you have something, ideas, down in the comments. I think out of these, though, one of my favorites is this little strap. It's completely velcro both sides it's two-way velcro so no matter where you put it it's going to stick and uh, this is really versatile there's a lot of different lengths of this as well then we have the regular straps which is just velcro on one side and you have your attachment points here then you have the the field here so this is the hook and it goes in straps in uh, the bigger ones which there are you know can be more useful for certain things we have smaller strapping here with a different kind of attachment point. And then we just have the two-sided Velcro roll. This is very versatile. Uh, it, either side is, you know, hook here, loop here. And so it really makes it nice to be able to adapt whatever you have uh, with this roll. Now, one big problem is when you have extra strapping and it's hanging off your backpack. Now, having excess strapping is a real problem when you have a backpack. There are some companies that actually put keepers. Some of them hold, some of them don't hold that well. So what we're going to do is, is bring this in. This actually adheres to this strapping. And then we're just going to flip it around, and we're going to roll this up. Once we get this around, we're going to bring it back through our loop. We're going to bring this and take out a lot of that tension right there. Then we're going to bring this around and just attach it to the back of the Velcro. Now you're holding it in place. And because it's in between the wrapping, this is not gonna come off. If you just took a piece of Velcro and went around this, it could come off. This way, you're good and secure. And then if you wanna adjust it, you can still pull this out and then just adjust it back out. So this to me is a great way. It's very minimal and it's very small and it fits on your pack very nicely. One thing too that I like about using these little strips, uh, you can get all kind of different keepers, but you've got to find them, you've got to buy them, and uh, even though they're not that expensive, you know, it's just hard to get sometimes. And if you really need something, these little Velcro strips are so readily usable for so many different things. Here we go, we're ready to go on the other side. Here we have a military surplus wet weather poncho, and uh, you know, this is great to keep with your pack. You may have your pack full, so you want to carry this on the outside to be able to get to it. So we're going to take these larger straps. And we can tighten this down, and we can secure it. But if we want to attach it, so here on the bottom of this pack, there is a strap here, but this has to do with adjustments here. So that one strap's not really going to be enough. We do have some molly webbing. We can either take and put it right here on the front just to have it hanging off, or we can just put it on the one. But just to keep it from bouncing around, we're going to go ahead and just bring it up through both of these molly attachment points. Now where your attachment point is, we're going to want to pull it way up. We're going to bring in our poncho nice and tight. The great thing too about these is it'll make it tight. I can bring this around, pull it in. And here we go. I've got this ready to go. There is a little bit of excess. If I want to, I can cut that off or I can just tuck it in. But now I'm ready 
and all I've got to do is undo the Velcro, pull this off. So I can put this on and off without a lot of trouble. And really, it doesn't add a lot to the pack. Yes, it could go underneath a lot of different packs, and that would work as well. And guys, sometimes you just want to tidy up your gear. And one of the things about having some of these, whether it's the Wooby or whatever, but this poncho, it's just really easy to shore this up, keep it compact. You could even put that in your pack. But this is a great way, again, just to be able to keep this secure and tight. You can even take your strap, put it through the ones that you've already attached. Now I have a grab handle. And the great thing about Velcro is you've really got to open this up to get it to come loose. I mean, it's not just going to come loose on its own. Or you can actually run that handle through your molly. And so that way it's on the side of the pack in case you have other things. You know, especially if you have a smaller pack like this and you just need that extra room or you want something you can get to quickly without getting into your pack. It's a little tough to get that Velcro back there, but not that difficult. Just something like this EDC pack. Uh, I've got these zip tied and this is going to be hard. Once I get this loose, I'm not going to be able to put them back. Uh, we have foam cord. We also have a charging cable. And then we have a larger charging cable for our battery backup. One big problem is cutting the zip ties. Uh, you don't want to damage your cord. And two, we can cut this off if we want, if we don't want the excess, or we can leave it. And that way, if we ever need it for something else, we've got it. Here we have all four of these cords neatly stored away. Then we can just put them in. And you know, if we need to use them again, it's really simple. And having a small little organizational pouch is really great for these kind of things. <laughs> okay, here, even with this larger one, we can double it up if we need to because it is kind of long. Makes it much easier to slide right into the pack. And Lord knows there's enough in this pack already. This is a Roaring Fire Ember Pro with two compartments. It's pretty cool for your cords and your EDC stuff. Of course, you also have big cords and uh, extension cords. These are always a pain in the butt. This keeps everything nice and tidy. You're able to get that and pull it off, put it back on, reusable, easy. Now, when it comes to light mounting, that's always an issue. A lot of times, zip ties. Here we have one of the Velcro strips just attaching here through the M-lock rail. And even though this has an attachment point that fits to a Picatinny rail, we can adapt this to fit straight to the rail. So all i got to do, you can see the light coming on in front of me. Anywhere I put on here. You just want to make sure you don't run that Velcro over your pressure points. And guys, it works like a charm. And it's secure. It's not going anywhere. With the two anchor points and then on the other side, it's solid. Now, if you're like me, sometimes I don't have pouches. I just have some magazines and I stick them in my pack. Take your strap. You want to get it tight to keep them from moving around. And now you've got them secure and you can drop them in your pack and you know where they are. Down the hatch. They don't get separated. They stay together. Now, if you're going fishing, but you have your hands full and you don't want to carry your rod in your hand. If you've got a water bottle holder, you can slip the handle down in there, but you don't have to. Then we're going to run our Velcro strips through our Molly attachments on the side and any kind of attachment point that you have where you can run this. Spring it around. This stuff sticks to itself a little bit, so you want to kind of pull it up. Get it. Tighten it. If we want to cut that off, we can, or we can just tuck it. One will hold it, but we'll go ahead and put a second one in there. Now these are kind of long, and of course you can do these however you want to, size-wise. So we're going to run it through two. One thing we don't want to do is to get our fishing line. And guys, that thing is solid. You just want to watch for limbs up above. <laughs> Here it is on my backpack. And as long as I don't go under any low-hanging branches, I'm good to go. And there are always things that need to go together. If, you've got, if you don't have one you got the other, you're doing no good. Take this Velcro and 
we've got a set. The one thing about Velcro itself is it's very abrasive right here because of the locking. And so if you have something, I found this old uh, screwdriver, uh, you can actually use it to clean. And I don't know how clean it's going to get it, but it's going to get a lot of that, that roughness off there. And you could use this even to wash dishes or scrub dishes or whatever. But it does a really good job of getting that off. And you could actually use the other side to wipe off as well. Especially surfaces that are not as abrasive. So good for cleaning. Now if you have lumber, you want to keep it tidy. Keep it from falling all over the place. And of course, this strap it will only allow for about three pieces, but I mean, you can get the longer straps, you can strap this up. Uh, at least keep it together in one place, especially if you're carrying it somewhere, because it tends to shift and move around. But again, you can get larger straps that really will accommodate more. And this stuff is really strong. Now, if you need tools for a certain project, but you just don't have a toolbox or you don't have room for it, take your tools and put them together. According to the strap, according to the tools, of course. Tighten it down, lock it down. Now these are going to stay together, and then you can undo this, get to your tools, and then wrap it back up. Especially if you have limited space. That way I've got them there, I know where they are, good to go. If you have some fire tinder and you have a lighter or fire steel, we can put this together. Very similar to the tools. I mean, guys, the sky's the limit on what you can do and put together. This is probably a little bit big. We're going to tighten that up to make sure that nothing slips out. And now we have a fire kit and everything's right together. Guys, some of this stuff is super easy. It just really helps you to think about different things you can do. Again, the sky's the limit. So guys, using Velcro, uh, it, there's so many different uses. I mean, it's so common, and yet sometimes we just don't think about the different ways to use it. And so a lot of times you need to improvise to survive, and sometimes it's just the best way to do it. And Velcro is just one of those items, guys, that is just great to keep handy because there are so many different ways you can use Velcro. And for that matter, there's a ton of different ways that this comes. Not only in the strips, it comes in dots, it comes in squares, you name it. And again, there are so many regular household ways to use Velcro, but hopefully this will help you in a survival tactical situation. And again, guys, leave comments down below. Uh, it's really helpful for the whole community. Guys, check out Sportsman's Guide for all kind of accessories, shooting, hunting, camping, military surplus from all over the world. Uh, it's one of my go-to sources. And you get $20 off for every $100 or more purchase using Such, S-O-O-T-C-H, in the coupon code. And if you remember their buyer's club, you get free shipping. And that really comes in handy when you're ordering jerry cans. <laughs> so check out Sportsman's Guide. Great resource. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. You know, it's according to the size strap. And that's backward. And a lot of them, guys, are some of the best things that you can do. My favorite use of a Velcro strap. <laughs> yeah.